Hello and welcome to an update on DG Voodoo 2. A lot has changed since last time. He's updated the website so it's now way better. He's added support for like ARM 64 based computers. Now, with that all the way, let's get started. Same procedure as before. Go to downloads, download these three things, extract them into a folder, download the uh, actual DG Voodoo, DG Voodoo uh, latest version, put it in a folder like so. Now, before you actually begin, I highly recommend you go through the general in the documentation and the frequently asked questions. That will help you a lot. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So for the demonstration, I'll be using uh, Midtown Madness 2. Now before I modify anything, I'm just going to launch the game and show you what happens when you don't modify anything. Uh, this is the abandoned wear, uh, no patch, uh, ripped version. Now without anything installed, it takes a little while to load and it flashes like crazy. The logo appears, seems to run fine, until you get into the main menu. You may notice it's a little bit laggy. Go into the options. Um, I set everything to pretty high. It doesn't matter what you set it to. Uh, let's just do a quick race. Sure. Get the controller. Most Californians run screaming when they see a cloud. I like how you're keeping your cool. <laughs> well, I think it speaks for itself. And when you collide into stuff, it really tanks. Alright, I think that's enough of a demonstration. Alright. Now to actually, uh... Fix the game. So launch GG Voodoo CPL and change the adapt the adapters to uh, your main graphics card and whatever display you want to play on. Full screen it, scaling mode to your liking, all this must into your liking, and then this runs on DirectX. So go there and change everything to your liking, um, like resolution, anti-aliasing, and some others. Um, however. Change the video card to this one, the Virtual 3D Accelerated card, and VRAM to 128 megabytes. After that, change everything you like, click Apply, and then click OK. Now drag DG Voodoo, or rather, copy DG Voodoo, the uh, config file, to uh, the, the Midtown folder. And then go to Microsoft x86 and then copy the three files. D draw, uh, D3, D, D, D3, D, L, M, M, and then D3, D, 8. Copy them and paste them over there into the midnet. The Midtown Madness. Once you do that, right click on Midtown 2, go to properties, uh, go to compatibility, and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. You want Service Pack 2. Click apply, click OK, and then launch it. Click yes, and give it a few seconds. Now you may notice it's a bit off. The, the logo right there is in the middle. However, once you actually get into it, it works just fine. Go to the options, go to graphics, and then change everything to the way you want it. You may notice an immediate difference of the mouse. It's much smoother. Once you're done, click done, go back. Let's do a quick race. Let's go driving. Win or lose, people talk about you when you're driving a Panos Roadster. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't think I need to explain how much of an improvement this is. Well, I think this wraps it up. Thank you for watching.